Hey everyone, thanks for listening to the Grow Your Life podcast. My name is Jeremiah Krakowski, and on this podcast, we talk about ways for you to grow in your life and in your business, to make more money in a business, getting more leads, customers, and clients using all the tools on the internet. And what I want to talk about today is social media videos. Before we go into that, if you haven't yet checked it out, I have a brand new course that I just released called Easy Course Creation Blueprint, where I walk you through step-by-step step how to put together a course to create an asset for yourself that you can sell online. You can take your knowledge, whether you know something or not, and sell it in a course. I walk you through step-by-step step my process that I've used to develop hundreds of courses with other people as well as for myself that have sold six and seven figures online, and I go through that entire process for you. I just give that to you, that map, so that you can create products that you can sell online. As well, my course, Irresistible Offers That Sell, then shows you how to sell a course once you have it created, and social media ads that works all about running the ads to sell it. So we got a whole ecosystem here now. If you want to start a business online selling courses or have a membership of courses, I show you the whole process, start to finish, building, marketing, advertising, selling, with my courses on my website, jeremiahkrakowski.com. As well, if you haven't yet scheduled a free 45 minute call with me, you can do that on my website. Anybody who has not scheduled a call with me can do that. There's only one per person now. And if you are a current coaching client of mine, you'll have to schedule and purchase a call with me. But anybody who has not purchased coaching with me can schedule a free 45 minute call. So at my website, jeremiahkrakowski.com, I'd love to just talk with you about your business where you're at, and how to take it to the next level from where you are to where you want to be. Now today we're talking about social media videos and how it's changed, how video content on social media has shifted. A couple years ago, long form videos were in. You could do 10 minute, hour long videos on social media. Now everybody's consuming 15 second, seven second videos, and that's what's in right now. And so you're going to have to shift your mindset about video, about content. Again, the, 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 the substance of your content is going to be largely the same. You're going to take what you talked about in a long form video and you're going to condense it down to seven to 10 seconds because that's the attention span of viewers online. I've done this in the last week and my engagement's gone up by over 200%. So obviously something's working. We've changed this with a lot of our clients. We've changed this with what we're recommending people doing is short videos. Instagram has made an announcement that they are no longer a photo sharing platform. They are a video platform. And so reels, stories, live videos, that's where it's at. These video type things. But talking long, drawn out pieces of video, like podcast length or 10 minutes long, People don't have the attention span for that type of stuff. They want fast, they want quick, they want simple. They want something that they can get value with that doesn't take a lot of time. So what I'm doing now is if I'm going live and it's gonna be longer, it's gonna be more conversational. I'm gonna do my podcast still. I'm gonna put these short videos and start to generate a couple of those per day. The same amount of time that it was taking me to create a long video, short videos. And I'm just coming up with what's one idea that I can share with people. Now, how do you come up with a lot of ideas for video? Well, you can look at and use tools like Jarvis.ai. They have a tool called the Video Title Generator, Blog Post Title Generator, and you can put up a topic that you wanna talk about and it'll actually generate your social media topics for you. You literally type it in and it generates those topics for you. So Jarvis.ai is an incredible app. If you go to my Instagram, instagram.com forward slash Jeremy Crack, and click on the link tree on my profile, the bio link. I have a link on there to get a free trial of Jarvis.ai. So check that out. A lot of people are seeing enormous value with Jarvis.ai. We're seeing it like crazy with our copywriting, with our advertising, with our marketing. So that's one way to come up with social media content. Another way to come up with great social media content is listening to podcasts. Listening to audiobooks, reading blogs, scrolling through other influencers' content, seeing what they're talking about, seeing what other people in your industry are talking about. You know, the four horsemen that are going to hurt you in creating social media are trying to be original, 
looking good to everybody, making sure that you sound good to everybody and that you create interesting content. When you're trying to do that, you're going to, you're going to fail and you're going to miss. So instead of trying to do that, be yourself and be authentic and get some ideas as you're starting from what's out there. Talk about anything when you're just getting started. If you're not putting content out there, which I recommend three to four daily videos a day. Now that's what you're, that's how many pieces of content you're going to want to start putting out is three to four short seven to 10 second videos on the topic that's related to your target customer. And ultimately for you to come up with ideas for your content, take a look at who your target customer is. If you're running a business, if you're building a business, 100% of your content needs to be geared towards what your target customer wants to hear. Now, if you're not putting out a whole lot of content, just put out a whole bunch of stuff. Most of it's going to miss, but you're going to see what rises above and what people have an interest in that you are talking about and sharing about. And so then you can look at that data and you can see, okay, this is what people are engaging with. This is what people are engaging with. If you're finding that you're running out of time to create content, learn to, to create boundaries around your life, to create block time that you can create that content. It might take you about 30 minutes a day once you get into the groove of it. 30 minutes to record these quick videos. You can use a lot of these apps now have automated captions on them. Instagram has automated captions. Um, I use a, an app called AutoCap, A-U-T-O-C-A-P on Android. And then there's a captions app on um, iOS. So that just adds some captions onto your video. That's working really well. And people are used to that sort of very simple, quick, put out their captions. You don't need to do a lot of production. And I would recommend that you not do a whole lot of production unless you you spend uh, plan on investing hundreds of hours into production of your content and that's your brand. But for everybody else who's building a business and you got products and services to sell, the goal of your content is to add authority, is for you to connect with your target customer and is to communicate with them and to show the value, to give a taste of the value that you bring to the table when they buy from you. And so you can do that in those seven to 15 second videos and even 30 second videos. So what we're finding is 30 seconds is really kind of one of the, the max attention span. Sometimes you want to put out maybe a minute, but no more than two minutes. If you look, I, I did an analysis of Gary Vaynerchuk's uh, social media profile. And none of his videos are over a, a minute and a half long. And most of his content is now all video. And so that's where things are shifting. That's where they've gone. They're not just shifting that way. That's where they've gone. And so if you don't want to be left behind when it comes to social media content, you're going to have to ramp up your video creation. I've been telling people for two, three years, daily videos. You need to get good at doing daily videos. And whatever those fears, if, you, if, if this is making you nervous, right, the fears that you have, I understand that. Process through why you're afraid. A lot of people are not going to judge you for how you look at all anymore. Everybody is on video. We're all out there. People are real people. They'd rather you show up as your real authentic self than hiding behind a, a screen somewhere because that's how they can trust you. You build trust and rapport with people by showing up on video consistently. And that's where the market is, is right now is you have to show up consistently on video every single day, multiple times a day to reach these customers. And then you run ads for whatever your products or services are to retarget the people that are engaging with your social content, okay? So that's the process that you can do to attract clients, use your social media, which then builds authority, which then helps you connect with and create conversations with your target audience, listening to your target customer, paying attention to them. How do you know what your target customer wants? Well, pay attention to if, what your competitors target customers want. Pay attention to what other people in your industry, what their target customers want. Put yourself in the shoes of the person that would buy your product or service on a daily basis. What do they care about? What do they go through? What are they experiencing? And then what value can you bring for them that solves a problem for them? That's how you come up with content. And then you can filter it through. Like I said, eBooks, podcasts, uh, 
audiobooks, um, YouTube videos. Jarvis can help you come up with some stuff. And what I like to do is if I'm like, hey, I want to get some inspiration for some content, I go look at, based on the topic of content that I want to make for my target customer, I go listen to an audiobook on that topic and I get nuggets that then I refashion in my own language, in my own words for my content. And, and that's my secret for how I've come up with pr basically an unlimited supply of content for the last two years. Um, and, I, <laughs> and I haven't even begun to scratch the surface on what I want to share with people. When you can learn to unlock your voice and you're not selective with what you say and what you put out there and you just put out there what you want to say, I would recommend avoiding politics though. <laughs> it's funny when I say that to people. They're like, oh yeah. Don't be selective with what you say, and then everything they post is political. I'm like, eh, that's not what I meant. Um, <laughs> if you want to post politics and become a political influencer, that's great. For for everybody else, if you're wanting to build a business, just don't be afraid to talk about whatever you want that's relating to that to that business. You're gonna you're gonna attract the right customer. I post stuff about m my video games that I play ever so often. And it's funny, a lot of my followers. They don't mind that. They like they're like video games are becoming even more and more cool and hip and 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 it's it's not a weird thing, you know. I play Tony Hawk on my Nintendo Switch to wind down and that's me and I post that on my content. And so don't be afraid to show up as your authentic self, not caring how people perceive you, how they judge you, what they're going to say to you. As you get more popular and grow in business, people are going to judge you even worse and so you might as well get past that fear and worry of what other people think of you and how they're going to treat you and just put yourself out there, all of you. Show up, use video. Your cell phone literally has all the tools that you need. I love using InShot as an app for editing video and I use AutoCap. Those are the only two apps that I'm actually using now. And then everything else for the tools for the text and stuff is built right into TikTok and Instagram. They've actually built these tools into the apps to create the best type of content for those apps, which is really cool. And so when you learn how to use those, creating reels every day, reels are where we're, we're reaching a ton of people. When you create reels every day, you're able to reach new people with your content and put that out there. And then you're going to get better at expressing your message. You know, Albert Einstein says the sign of genius is being able to take a big concept and shrink it down to as few words as possible. And that's essentially an exercise that you're going to have to teach yourself how to do is take these big ideas and shrink them to as few words as possible. But video is where it's at and you can't escape it. If you're wondering why you're not getting a lot of traction from everything but video, that's why. Social media has shifted and changed. It's video centric. What's a way that you could do video for those of you that are social media managers for your clients that don't want to get on video? Well, a, you can teach them what I just taught you. You could send them this video. B, you could actually do a voiceover for them and add images to that to create some videos with voiceovers. To, you could have them write stuff like that. That's one way that we're helping some of our clients that are struggling with video is we're actually doing some voiceover content and creating videos with, with audio. And audio is starting to take off too. There's audio rooms that are being added to Facebook. There's the world on social media is so changing post COVID. We are seeing a post COVID social media revolution happening right now. And everything that has that worked like 10 years ago doesn't work anymore. And so you're gonna have to evolve and change or die. That's really how it is. And so if you're ready to know how to do that, if you want to know how to build a business online using the tools of social media, using uh, video content creation, again, follow my, follow my page, follow my profile, follow my Instagram, follow what I do every single day. Use that as a model for you. Second, follow a bunch of other pages that are in your niche. See, see what they're doing. See what, what resonates with you. Become a consumer of social media content. So that you can see what other people are putting out there. And then you'll learn what the best type of content is that resonates with people the most. Don't overthink it. Don't overanalyze it. Don't be afraid of how you look or what other people think about you. But show up consistently and that will produce results. And then put your products and services out there. Advertise them. Run social media ads. 
to reach new customers, to reach new people that are going to buy from you. All right? So, listen, I'm excited, and I'm excited to see what some of you do with this training, this podcast right here. I, I believe that, that we're at the beginning stages of a lot of this, and a lot of it's going to be trial and error. And so there's no right or wrong way to do it. Stop being afraid of doing things the wrong way and just show up and do something, all right? Now listen, if you haven't yet scheduled a 45 minute call with me on my website, please do so. I'd love to talk with you. I'd love to talk about your business and how to get you more sales online. We'll talk soon, everybody. Have a good one.